Namaste viewers. Welcome to Sunita's Kitchen Stories. After a very long time, I mean after a long period, we are meeting. Today I have come up with a special dish with a special guest. She is Melina from Germany, my daughter's very close friend. Now she will show you her own dish. Welcome Melina and Preshta. Hello viewers, today we are going to make pumpkin soup and I'm going to show you the ingredients for that now. So we have approximately 2 kgs of pumpkin, um, then we have like approximately half a kg of carrots, then we have coconut milk that is uh, one dose or approximately 400 ml, uh, then we will <clears throat> need a little bit of uh, onion approximately one big or if you don't have one big you can also use two small ones then uh, this amount of ginger then we need the juice of uh, two to three lemons like you can adjust that accordingly to your taste um, we also need a little bit of butter this would be approximately two to three teaspoons and uh, for uh, seasoning we need a little bit of pepper and also a little bit of salt and uh, if you wish to, you can later decorate your soup with a bit of coriander. Awesome, Melina. That was nice. And uh, so how do we proceed? What's the next step? After everything is cut and prepared like we just showed you, we will uh, need to heat uh, a big pot or a big vessel mm -hmm. uh, and put some of the butter in it and get the butter hot. And then we will have to put the pumpkin. So first we have to put the onion and the ginger and after that we will put the pumpkin and the carrot and let it roast a bit. So let's proceed. So switch on the stove and keep a vessel for the tea. So now we are going to put the butter. Wait. Now that the butter is melted I'm adding onions. And also some ginger. So we have to saute now. Yes. All right. So after the onion and the ginger is slightly cooked, we will now add the pumpkin and the carrots. All right. Now the carrots is being added to the pumpkin. All right. Now do we have to stir this melina? Yes. All right. And let it sit for about 10 minutes. Okay. Now after approximately 5 minutes of stirring, we will add the water. Yes. I forgot to mention it in the beginning, but it should be approximately 1 liter. So you have added 1 liter of water to soak uh, this amount of uh, ingredient, ingredients, right? Yes. Yeah. So how many minutes do we let it sit? We let this cook for about 15 to 20 minutes so you can sit back and relax a bit. Okay. So we close the lid and yes. relax. All right. Now half of the time is already over. So let's check what the soup is doing. All right, so we'll stir around and you, as you can see, it's not done yet because the vegetables are still a bit hard, so it, need to cook, it needs to cook some more. But uh, now we can already add the salt. Uh, you can approximately add like one to two teaspoons uh, according to your taste. And you can also add some more salt later, but for now we will only add like All right, so we close the lid now and let it cook for some more time, right? Yes. All right. So uh, now the 15 minutes are over and we'll check again. Yes, this looks very good. Um, so uh, now we can switch off the stove and then we can put the soup into the grinder. Uh, so should we let it cool or uh, we can directly put it while it is hot? Uh, you can directly put it while it's hot. Alright, so we'll move to the next procedure. 
So, what is this, Melina? What has happened over here? So, uh, all the things that were in the soup, all the soup has been grinded. Mm -hmm. So, this creamy mixture is now the outcome of it. And to this creamy mixture, uh, mm -hmm. we now add uh, uh, the... Lime juice, yes, right? Yes, uh, from the two limes we had in the beginning. So, yes, okay. So, two lemons and the lime juice out of the two lemons has been adding. But only a little bit. Okay. And also the coconut milk that we had in the beginning. Yes. Will uh, go on top of this now. Okay. You can pour it in and stir. Okay. The soup. The coconut well. milk need not be hot, right? Is there no, a no, particular no. temperature? No. It just needs to be liquid. Okay. Because after we added uh, the coconut milk and the lime, mm -hmm. we will also add a little bit of salt and pepper and mm -hmm. then reheat the soup again. Okay. Got it. So before heating the soup you need to add all the sneeze seasoning and flavors to it and then cook yes correct so you can adjust uh, before you cook right so yes. the taste according to your taste you can also still adjust mm. after that but uh -huh. uh, i prefer adjusting before that yeah all right so after nice stirring we'll taste a bit or yes. do you want to add some more ingredients no, we can add a little bit of salt and pepper, and okay. then we can taste. Okay. Salt mm -hmm. and pepper. Pepper. Nice. The pepper should also be in powder and not like... Okay, so you need to... Grind it. Also. Yes. Alright, so we will taste and we'll get back. So now we're reheating the soup and you have to stir it until it has boiling consistency and after that, after it boiled once, it's ready to serve. Can't wait to taste it, Marina. Looks so beautiful and very appetizing. So <laughs> let's wait for it to boil and we'll show the viewers the serving thing. Yes. So this is how our soup looks when it's in a bowl and ready to serve. Ah, wait, one thing is missing. We also can put some coriander for garnishing. Lovely. Yes. And now like this, it is ready to serve and enjoy. Thank you so much, Melina, for uh, making this tastiest soup. I'm waiting to taste it. Oh, it looks so delicious, Melina. Thank you so much for sharing this uh, recipe. Uh, Presto, you can, I think you can taste. Actually, yeah. I tasted it. It's very tasty. Let me also taste. Yeah, you can also taste. Guys, the soap tasted so heavenly. It all, it tasted like I could, uh, uh, all my taste buds were awakened <laughs> to be very honest. It is sweet, it is salt, there's pepper. All the flavors are so good in this. I think you should all try this once and it's very healthy also. So thank you Melina for showing us this dish once again. Thank you Preshta and Melina. Uh, please try this dish and put a comment in my comment box. Please like, share and subscribe to my channel Sunita's Kitchen Stories. Thank you.